Greetings, hello, what is good YouTube, it is your boy Coast, and we are back at the end of Star Wars month to celebrate what is Star Wars. Um, it's been a big roller coaster ride of a month, but today, this week especially, there has been... Um, there have been a lot of rumblings about Kenobi, uh, Disney going on the offensive, uh, Disney Lucasfilm going on the offensive, really, and essentially trying to silence all criticism of their new show, because they, they've had it rough. Let's be honest, they've had it rough the past couple of months. The whole groomer scandal their parks getting blown out by Governor DeSantis. They've, they've had it pretty rough. So let's, let's look at what's been going on with Star Wars lately. Okay. Okay. So this right here, let me cut to it. This right here is what Disney Star Wars decided to put out yesterday <laughs> watered down productions this, this is what open airlock policy is saying watered down productions intellectual dishonesty in breaking lore rewriting history on fan reactions to prequels let's see oh calling critics racist who wouldn't want to be a Disney Star Wars fan and I agree 100% Shout out to Open Airlock, he's cool. We are proud to welcome Moses Ingram. Ingram. Is that, is that her name? Moses? Okay. Wow, that, that's weird because that's... You know, these people just don't have any class anymore. <laughs> My dad's name was Moses. Uh, just name her Mosetta. <laughs> just... Just do something like that, like, have some class. <laughs> Don't curse your child to, to living a, a, a weird, weird-ass existence. But anyway. If anyone intends to make her feel in any way unwelcome, we have only one thing to say. We resist. And how cringy is this? How cringe is this? Just Disney doubling down on delusion, on, on just ignoring the people that buy their products. Oh, and, and let's also not forget them being petty, acting like petty children towards the fans. But I'll get to that after this. There are more than 20 million sentient species in the Star Wars galaxy. Don't choose to be a racist. You see what they do? Now it's like, oh, if you criticize us, you're just racist. Hiding behind the shield that is racism. The flimsy, pathetic shield that is, oh, uh, uh. You can't criticize us or you're racist. Like like a child. That's what my little cousin does. Oh you you know. Oh you can't smack me with the pillow because uh, I'm I'm standing behind this I'm standing behind this chair and you can't see me. Or like I'm hiding behind the table or like you can't see me or you're not supposed to see me. It's like a little game. I don't know. It's 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 such a it's such a game to these people. It's a political game. Um where they just want to harangue you for being racist for eternity they're never gonna stop for eternity they're going to guilt trip you about being racist until you find yourself enslaved or uh, whatever and then they'll justify it and say well uh, we were enslaved too so haha -ha, deal with it and you know that's exactly what they want You know that's exactly what they want. They want to 
make it so that you can't criticize them for anything and that they could just lord over you their their political agenda oh and and by the way it's it's back to pride month with these abominations look at this crap look at this crap this is what they want for your kids these weirdos in leather dog suits but but anyway i'm not i'm not even gonna get i'm not even gonna get onto that that's not the focus of today's video that's just an afterthought you guys know how i feel about it you guys know my stance on that issue on the alphabet people and their effect on our degenerating society and people wonder why people wonder why society is coming undone it is because of these things these cults these modern day cults that have taken over oh, okay I'm, I'm getting i'm getting back onto that but anyway but let's 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 look at some, some of the takes that disney star wars um has been going on yeah so anyone who criticizes moses ingram is apparently racist no other reason no other reason there's there's no other reason why someone would criticize disney lucas films and also apparently the new Obi-Wan series has a lot of contradictions. Um, <laughs> apparently, Obi-Wan is heavily in contact with Princess Leia at this time, and people are, re are really coping, uh, saying, Oh, well, uh, you know, she how would she know who Kenobi was? This totally makes sense, bro. It totally makes sense. There's no contradictions here, whatever. And to that I say, the very formal mess. No freaking way! No fr wait, hold up, hold up. I just saw that part. Wait, hold up, hold up. Let, let me see this crap. She's using the force already. She's a she's a strong, powerful woman. <laughs> crap, dude. She's a strong, powerful woman already hold up let's let's watch this together let's watch this <laughs> exactly exactly years ago you served my father in the Cold wars i don't know you directly okay that, that, that's exactly what it's saying i don't know you directly but my father has spoken great of your great deeds in the Clone Wars. In the Clone Wars. That's 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 exactly what it means. It doesn't mean, oh, Obi-Wan was running around with Leia at this time for no freaking reason. <laughs> it's just what? And Leia was using the force at this time. This, this shit makes no sense. It makes no sense, dude. It makes no sense, bro. <laughs> Okay, so so Disney is cry-bullying the fans, accusing the fans of racism, accusing fans of racism, and retconning the original trilogy of Star Wars. Wow, remember when George, I, I seem to remember people saying George Lucas was ruining this franchise, but hold up, let's watch this clip. That is a cope, <laughs> but um, it also doesn't make sense because it's like they weren't as they weren't as close to Ben Kenobi. I think that's what he says here. Yeah, they didn't know him that well. Obi, 
Obi-Wan knew Luke better. And that's why the character, Ben Skywalker, Ben Skywalker makes so much sense. But of course, they 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 shifted him around and and turned him into the the guy from Fallen Order. <laughs> just 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 what in the world is going on with this with, with with this franchise, dude? What is going on? They, they disrespect Star Wars fans and call you racist. All right, but yet and still, you're supposed to stand by and just support them blindly. No. No. No thanks. I mean, as long as Disney is, is doing this, acting so mature, uh, I think it's I think we're all obligated to poke fun at them. And and to mock them every single time. Every single time. I feel like that's the only way they'll get the message or just stop buying their stuff because Ben Skywalker Um Ben Skywalker makes so much more sense than Ben having naming their kid Ben Solo. Like, it, it, just why? It's not like Obi Wan trained Leia, but they're trying to shoehorn that in so bad. And now I guess they're trying to say that uh, that Obi Wan and uh, and Bail Organa were communicating and shit like while he's in exile while the the empire is is looking and hunting looking for and hunting jedi oh. <laughs> oh yeah this is what this guy says in a new hole princess leia says to luke ben kenobi where is he nothing is broken thank you for coming to my ted talk and of course all the lemmings applaud <laughs> of course it's just like she sent droids to get him though like you know, she knew of him, but she didn't know him personally. Like, it's not that far of a stretch to say, like, yo, uh, she didn't know him personally. <laughs> you know, like, even when, just because she said, oh my god, where is he? The guy that I sent these two droids out for, oh, where is he? Like, <laughs> Just destroyed the entire lore. You got Princess Princess freaking Leia doing. Okay, okay, he saved her. Okay, so he saves her life. Okay, I thought it was just Leia just floating on her own for a second. Okay, so he saves her life. Okay, but this clown is like, oh my god, like. Yo, she said Ben Kenobi. That means like canon is not broken, even though they they met, <laughs> even though they meet in the series, <laughs> where Obi Wan is like not supposed to leave Luke alone, you know, <laughs> and is supposed to be on the run from the Empire, yeah. But here he is running right into one one of the Skywalker kids, who is. I don't know if you saw this, where Leia is just running through the forest, clowning on these grown-ass men and women, <laughs> like, just clowning on them and, like, <laughs> running away through the bushes and, like, you know, clocking them over the head with a branch or whatever, but it, it, it was hilarious. Um, let me see if I can find it. Um... Oh man, well, yeah, I saw the clip. Man. <laughs> yeah, Data Racer. Shout out to Data Racer. He's like, get a load of this. They're doing mental gymnastics and making up headcanon to talk themselves into it makes sense. Reminds me of the clowns who admitted forcing themselves to like TLJ by watching it five times. Oh, 
Oh wow, yeah. And this is where uh, he's responding, he's saying like, General Kenobi, years ago you served my father in the Clone Wars and rescued me from pirates, now he begs you. <laughs> yeah, that's what she should have said, and rescued me from pirates. Now he begs you to help me, help him in his struggle against the Empire. But yeah, super formal, like she doesn't know the person. It's rushed and concise. She's speaking on what she knows of Obi-Wan through her dad, which reveals she only knew of him. Only through, yeah. Only through her dad. Yeah, so this is another retcon that totally breaks the lore. Um, To anyone who hasn't been, uh, if you just take out all the extra films in the Disney canon or whatever, um, besides the first six films, okay, even if you, even if you include Disney canon, this makes no sense, um, but of course they're coping. They're saying, oh, well, you know. This could definitely work, and you're just a bigot and a racist and a terrible person who hates children because, because reasons. You're a terrible person, guys. You're a racist and a bigot. How dare you criticize us? Yeah, fuck that. I don't care. I don't care who you are. Yeah, they're coping a lot. They're like, oh my god, like, why do you guys, like, hate this? Like, it could totally work, bro. Like... I mean, Leia, she just sent those droids to get that guy on Tatooine. I mean, like, <laughs> that she addresses as the person that her father told her about in the Clone Wars. Like, not as someone that she knows personally. <laughs> so, yeah, they're coping. They're, you know, trying their best. Then we had this guy, uh, NMCCC, um, who was basically like, respectfully, no one likes either uh, Rose Teagle or what other broad name is. <laughs> and the Star Wars official, the official account saw fit to comment, respectfully, L plus ratio, targeting a fan. Who doesn't like their characters? He goes on to say, "Oh, we don't like. I meant that I didn't like Rose Tico, not the actresses. Yeah, which is everyone's general opinion. But the irony, the irony in all of it is probably, is probably the fact that they've been accusing people of racism because they cannot take criticism, accusing people of this and that." when they're the ones censoring black people. I think that was the biggest L this week. Oh yeah, Galactus Star Cruiser. <laughs> I think this is the biggest L. I mean, they, 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 they thought they had, they, they spent all that money on that Twitter account, Big Bad Disney, spending all this money on this Twitter account just to, to get into petty beefs. <laughs> Nothing to see here, just the official Star Wars account instigating a pile-on to a dissenting fan. New depths every single day. Got that right. I mean, but it's like... They have no shame at all. And use these petty uh, tactics. Let, let, let me show you what the, all this kid was saying. Like, like, hey, I don't really like the actresses. And of course, they had nothing better to do. Nothing better to do than to pile on to some Star Wars fan. I mean, personally, I think it's pathetic. <laughs> Disney Star Wars else. Respectfully stick to racism. <laughs> it is the only thing you're good at. Dang, bro. I mean, the irony is that they accuse other people of racism while they censor black people in China. It's basically it. I mean, and... 
the more they went into this, the more they got exposed. But the thing is, this kid had still had a positive ratio after 24, just about 24 hours after getting quote unquote ratioed. Still more likes and comments. Still. So I mean, I don't, I don't. Maybe I'm not understanding exactly what a ratio is, but that that's typically what it is. You have more likes and dislikes, or you know, that's a positive ratio. Disney Star Wars L's. This is a, a massive L for Star Wars than anything. It's been it's been really really crazy on uh, Star Wars page. <laughs> oh yeah, this this one big big bad Disney Star Wars account all in its feelings because someone dared to mock their false false idols. I mean, really, they do get all up in their feelings when someone dares to insult these actresses, and then they post all of these uh, oh. The, the harassment campaign against Kelly Marie Tran. I already debunked that. I already debunked that in, in my Star Wars game video. But there, this idiot today was like, oh, like, you know, uh, stop blaming the Illuminati and stop blaming the Illuminati for, for your racism and, you know, to uh, uh, some thread with me and Disney Star Wars else. But yeah, it doesn't make sense that Leia is is the... Yeah, why didn't Obi-Wan just prioritize training Leia, especially after saving her and having such a friendship with Bail Organa? Yeah. Basically, o Obi-Wan makes no sense. Oh yes, this is it, this is it! This is it, where Leia, little Leia is running through the forest. From two grown ass men. Or, or grown ass adults. Or three, actually, three grown adults. And somehow escapes. I mean, these are, are these trained soldiers or not? Are these trained soldiers or not? Like, it's. And of course, the Riding Raven says absolute pathetic. But she's, she's a bad girl from. from from day one. I mean, she popped out the out Padme's womb and she was already a badass. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is an absolute clown show. I mean, are we really supposed to take this show seriously? Like how, how are we supposed to take this show seriously? supposed to take this show seriously and, and pe prequel fans are actually like oh my god we won bro we won dude like w what did you win but yeah basically kenobi has broken canon kenobi ha has destroyed the, the series the, the franchise even more um <laughs> basically implying that uh That everybody, like, that Leia knew Obi-Wan, like, on a personal level, uh, implying that, that Bail Organa was frequently communicating with Obi-Wan, <laughs> and what was the point of R2-D2 and C-3PO, like, it's just, it, it makes no sense, guys, uh, and it's one giant fail, fiasco, um, Star Wars... The Star Wars, the official Star Wars account, is all up in its feelings, um, <laughs> butt hurt because some fan said, I don't like Rose Tico. <laughs> some fan said, fuck Rose Tico. <laughs> some fan was just like, screw you. Um, just laid it out there like, bruh, like, screw Rose Tico, we hate that character. Uh, we hate the other character as well that she's uh, you see I don't even know I don't even know her name uh, what's her name again yeah I don't know it <laughs> these terrible characters and, and if you criticize the black uh, the new black character um, dang bro he got he got way more likes <laughs> if you criticize the black character you're a sudden racist 
You're suddenly a racist. You can't not lack character. You're a racist. You're a sexist. You're a phobe is this and that. <laughs> it's really kind of pathetic. It's like, these are grown adults supposedly running this. Uh, what's her name? Billy Lord? Yeah, I don't even know who that is. But anyway, yeah, Star Wars has been in a bad way. And, um, you know, it's up to us to keep it alive. Uh, we can laugh at Disney Wars all we want, but in the end, we have to, uh, create our own products. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm creating new shirts and hopefully new videos. I will be, um, selling this design. I finally finished this design that uh, I am now sharing on Twitter, guys. Uh, be sure to look out in my next video when I start uh, putting on a t-shirt. Uh, I will be uploading another, uh, another date this week. But yeah, I, I'm super stoked to be releasing this date, this uh, design soon. Um, I've really, I've I spent, I've been spending a lot of hours on it, uh, and it's not easy, you know, um, but I'm trying to rededicate myself, push myself even further beyond what I thought it was capable of, uh, and to get back in the t-shirt game. So yeah, just to give you guys a preview, you guys, all of you guys who participated in the character poll, um, this is Luke Skywalker. Grandmaster Luke Skywalker. Uh, I did a couple other sketches, but really I liked this one. And I really want to get this on a shirt. I mean, there's like a friggin' Yuzen Vong uh, creature, dragon, whatever here. Explosions. Lots of Yuzen Vong getting sliced up at light speed by the Grandmaster himself. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it so far. Um, just kind of wrapped it up today. But yeah, I, I always felt like the the graphic not well. I felt like the novels portrayed Luke as such a superhero that, in like in comparison to to everyone else in the Star Wars universe, like he was so amped up on the Force that it was like some DBZ shit. <laughs> like it was just it was literally like some DBZ shit. Like that's how I that's how I always envisioned it in my mind. Like how, envisioned the battles go like going he, he would take on and he could he, he take on entire armies with the force like it's it's incredible like it's just some of the feats that were described <laughs> in the expanded universe and then we get jake after all that we get jake skywalker just for shame um but yeah uh check it out check out my dbnr and be watching uh for updates on my channel so disney is is wilding out disney star wars is wilding out calling people racist when they when they censor black people from their posters it's really ironic it really is ironic this company despises its fans it despises its criticism uh because they feel like they're above criticism and they can't be they can't be uh talked to negatively or like you know like people can't talk of their stuff negatively you know, because it's just, you know, they're beneath them. All the, the customers are beneath them. And now they're t now people are actually trying to say that we are racist and hate James Earl Jones. This is where they're going to take, they're going to, they're going to go way out there with this and just be like, oh, all of you fans are racist. They're going to do it again, again. They did not learn. They did not learn, and we have to keep on BTFOing these dumb idiots until they lose their jobs. I don't care. I don't care what it takes, guys. Just just let them know through the internet or whatever that this right here, their crappy writing can't be defended with accusations of racism or sexism or whatever. They can't just deflect with, oh, you're just a racist and a bigot and, and blah, blah, blah. Like, no. This right here. This right here. Pathetic. 
anyway, it's your boy Coase. Uh, glad I could finally um, <sighs> squeeze the video out. I've been I've been waiting to do a video, um, and finally had time to fix the design today. Um, I'm I'm so happy that I'm finally getting on my back on my uh, merch design flow. So hopefully, the next video I upload, it'll be a more um, It'll be a more fun topic, topic other than Disney Star Wars foolishness. But if you if you like laughing at Disney Wars, uh, you know, leave a comment below or a like, uh, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you really really want to get this woke nonsense out, I mean, you could always support the channel by buying a shirt. Uh, I'll have a link in the description. Um, you know, support my art on DeviantArt or whatever. Uh, I'm always, I'm always here for my fans. Let me know uh, what I could be doing better. Some of the guys in, in one of my last, one of my other videos commented that you know I could, I could have a better balance in my music. Yeah, a better balance in my music and my voiceovers. But yeah, um, yeah. You know, always feel free to to let me know what I could be doing better. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you guys keep me motivated. You guys keep me going. All right. God bless you guys. And, uh, <laughs> and oh, dang, bro. I didn't, I'm just seeing this. But anyway, God bless you guys. Uh, remember, anyone shouting racist is probably racist themselves. All right. Peace. the mind, the spirit, and the soul.